All right, so we're cruising along here, number 11. So we're still performing the indicated operation and expressing in lowest terms. So again, go ahead and take each numerator, each denominator, factor as much as you can, cross out, cancel out, divide out, whatever you like to say, uh, the common factors, and then go ahead and perform the indicated operation. Be careful here, we're dividing, right? So we know that we're going to be changing from division to multiplication and then flipping this second fraction. But we'll go ahead and take care of that in just a minute. I like to uh, go ahead and, uh, and factor all of my uh, numerators and denominators before I, before I flip this. So let's jump right in. So we have x squared plus 11z plus 18. Well, we're dealing with a trinomial, right? Three terms, so we know this is going to factor into two binomials. Uh, we're dealing with a z, and the coefficient in front of our squared term is 1, which makes it a little easier for us. And we know that is going to break into a z and a z. And now we're looking for factors of 18 that add to positive 11. Well, I think we're going to be dealing with a plus 9 and a plus 2, right? 9 plus 2 is 11. 9 times 2 is 18, so I think we've got it. And here in our denominator, again, dealing with a bi uh, trinomial, so we're going to break down into two binomials. We have a coefficient of our square term being 1, and we're again dealing with z, so let's go ahead and break that z squared down into single z and single z. We are looking for factors of 81 that add to positive 18. Well, I think we're going to be positive 9 or plus 9 and plus 9, right? 9 plus 9 gives us that positive 18. Positive 9 times positive 9 gives us positive 81. So there we have it. And uh, why not? Let's go ahead. We'll change to multiplication right now instead of this division. And then might as well go ahead and flip, right? Save us a step and uh, having to rewrite this twice. So remember, we're now going to be taking what was originally in the denominator and it's now going to be in the numerator. What was originally in the numerator will now be in the denominator. So let's go ahead and draw our little division bar. And now let's go ahead and factor the original denominator, but we're going to put the factored form in the numerator. So we have z squared plus 6z minus 27, three terms again. So we know we're dealing with something that's going to factor into two binomials. Coefficient in front of our square term again is 1, and we're dealing with z, so let's split that z up. And now we want factors of 27 that subtract to give us a positive 6. Well, there's that plus 9 again, and minus 3. Positive 9 minus 3 gives us positive 6, and positive 9 times negative 3 gives us negative 27. So I think we've got it. And then dealing with the original numerator, which is now being uh, put into, into the denominator because we're flipping, right, is, let's see, let's take our GCF out, which looks like a Z. And when we do that, we're left with Z plus 2. All right, and there we have it. We've factored each numerator and denominator as much as we can. We changed from division to multiplication and we took the reciprocal of our second fraction. And some of you might uh, remember from class or the previous video, we talk about the K, C, F, the keep, change, flip process. Keep being, meaning keep the first fraction exactly the way it was given to you. So we did that. Change from division to multiplication. We did that and flip the second fraction. So KCF, if you can remember that, you're, uh, you're good to go. But now that we've factored comes the fun part, right? We get to cross out all of the factors that are in common. And again, just for review, you might have watched the previous video, so you're like, I know, Joe, I get it, I get it. But just in case you, you're jumping in or joining us on this video, remember, you can cancel up and down, you can cancel diagonally, you cannot cancel left to right. So do not cancel left to right. So let's see what we have here. So this is a good example of what you cannot cancel. Z plus nine, Z plus nine, you cannot cancel left to right or right to left like this. So uh, just be aware of that. You can, however, cancel up and down, right? So Z plus nine, Z plus nine, gone. Z plus nine, Z plus nine, gone. There's our diagonal. And let's see, z plus 2, z plus 2, again, diagonal. 
And I think that's all we can cancel. So let's go ahead and see what happened. Well, here in the left fraction, everything canceled. So we were left with one over one. There's our multiplication. Here on the right, we were left with just a z minus three over, the only thing left here in the denominator is a z. And so now we can go ahead and one times the quantity z minus three, well, that's just z minus three. One times the quantity of z is just z. And there you have it. Quantity z minus three over z. And you don't have to uh, put these parentheses if you don't want to. Uh, either way, it's up to you. All right, so there we have it. Z minus three over z. There was number 11. I'll see you at number 12. Hopefully these are getting easier for you, right? We're following the same process, just uh, you know, changing up what we're factoring. So uh, number 12, I'll see you there.